Hi guys, okay, I have literally one of the largest hauls I've probably ever done. Um, let's just jump right into it. It's gonna be a long one. You might wanna grab a drink or a snack. I got a caffeinated bubbly here. Let's do this. Like I said, this haul is large. There probably will not be very many swatches in this video because I have a crap ton of stuff to show you. I have three boxes and a bag here. This has been collective over the last probably month, I would say. Um, Ulta did their, uh, their 21 Days of Beauty, bought stuff from there. And then right after that, they did their spring haul. And then Sephora did its uh, spring sale, VIB sale, something like that. And I got stuff in that. So let's just jump right in. The first thing I have is a box. It's a mismatch of everything. The first item I have is the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. Open it up and it looks like this. I'm so excited to use this. I have been loving Dominique Cosmetics Formula. They have a Rustic Glam Palette that I have been loving. So I seen this one on sale. It was only like $20 and I got it. And then we got a, oh goodness, I don't even know where to begin, you guys. And then I have this. Oh, I've seen a lot of people use this. It's the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. I have been wanting to try this for so long. So I got this. This was in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. And I'm so excited. This is supposed to be help, help remove makeup and stuff. I'm so excited to use this, you guys. And then I got the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel because Dermalogica is a really good brand and this was on sale so it I bought it. I mean, pretty much how this whole haul is gonna go. And then I got a Tula Clean and Effective Get Toned Pro Glycolic Toning or toner and I love Tula skincare. This is the acne line, one of my favorite lines. I use the eye serum, I use the face cleanser. I've gotten multiple of the acne foam face cleanser. So I wanted to try this from that same line. And I got, oh, this came, I don't know how, I don't, I didn't buy this. This came with like free gift or whatever. It's just a little like hair scrunchy. I love scrunchies if you can't tell. And I thought this one was cute. And then I have, oh, I got more of my hair dye. This is the Arctic Fox uh, Beach Please. And it's just their bleach. And it comes with a 35 volume developer and cream, cream bleach. And that's what I used to do my hair. And as you can tell, it needs to be redone. So I bought this just in case I decided to do my hair again. On that same note, I also bought this. This is the Cara Color Color Conditioner. It's in rose gold. It's a conditioner that deposits color, but it does eventually wash off. It's a semi-permanent, um, if I'm sure how that works. And these are, this is what it looks like on the back. I'm excited to use this because I love to change up my hair very frequently, as you guys can tell. And this is just something I can do sporadically, and it's not going to last a long time and damage my hair. And then I got another... Oh, this is Bliss. This is the Drench and Quet Wench Creamed Water Hydrator for all skin types. Got that. And then, ooh, this. I'm so excited. Jessica Braun raved about this product, so I got this. This is the Physician's Formula Sculpting Bronzer. I don't own a cream bronzer, like at all. So I got this because I love cream blushes. Love, love, love them. So I wanted to get into cream bronzers, especially because summer's coming up. I feel like cream products are what work best in the summertime for my skin personally. And then I got the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This is a new product by e.l.f. I want to try. I do truly, truly want to get back into doing my full day wear test videos. So I bought that for that. And I got a little sample of the Tanologist Face and Body Drops. I got one of these before. Haven't used it. So I got a sample of that. And then, oh, I got the Nabla Cutie Palette in Coral. Looks like this. I tried a Nabla highlighter, loved it. So I wanted to try one of their palettes and these colors speak to me. I love like pinky coral colors. So I got this. I didn't get too many palettes because I don't need them. I don't need any makeup, but I bought it. And then, oh, this is the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. Another moisturizer for me to try in a video. Another one I got is the Physician's Formula Butter Believe It Foundation and Concealer. I They used to make one, it was the Healthy Glow Foundation. I loved it, and then they discontinued it. So I bought this to see, or actually, I don't know if they discontinued it. I think what happened is I get, I get tanner in the summer. Like right now, I'm pretty tan. For me, this is tan. But in the winter, I go pasty, pasty white, and it's not dark enough. Or it's not light enough for me. But I bought this to try because it intrigued me. 
I also bought this one from Juice Beauty and it's the Stem, Stem Cellular CC Cream. Wanted to try this one. I got this one in the shade Natural Glow. And then I bought the L'Oreal Skin Paradise Water Infused Mo uh, Tinted Moisturizer because it intrigued me. Water infused, like what? So I bought that and oof, okay. Um, I got a Walmart beauty box. I don't know why. It just randomly showed up to my house. I haven't paid for a Walmart beauty box subscription in a long time. And that's where some of this stuff came from. So they gave me a Hello toothbrush, which is a nice toothbrush. I've used one of these before. And I actually did need a new toothbrush. So this is a... This I'm happy to have gotten. And then they also included the Hello Anti-Plaque Whitening Toothpaste, which I like. And I got this Oscar Blondie... Pronto dry shampoo. I'm a dry shampoo fanatic if you guys do not know and I had some points from Ulta's or not Ulta from BoxyCharm pop-up sale and so I bought this with that money and then I got a MAC blush in it's a sheer tone blush in the shade gingerly. I am truly 120,000% obsessed with blush I don't know why, but I am. You'll see a lot of blushes in this haul, but that's what this looks like. I am so excited for this color. Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. And then I got the, oh, I got the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation because I wanted to try it. And I got a couple pairs of lashes by the brand Velour. Now I was at Ulta shopping and these were 90% off, so I couldn't help myself. They're like $2. Looks like this, and these are in the style... What style are these in? These ones are in No Filter. And then these ones are in, oh, I don't have my glasses on. Wispy on the Rocks. And I got two Bare Minerals products. One is a Bare Minerals highlighter and one is a Bare Mineral, Minerals bronzer. The highlighter I got in the shade Free, which I have never tried Bare Minerals like highlight or bronzer. So I bought these to give them a try. Just a standard brown, uh, highlighter. We will see what it looks like on the skin. If you guys want to see any of these products in a video, let me know. And then the bronzer I got is in Faux Tan, which looks like this. Looks looks a little dark for me, but it looks cool tone, so I might be able to get away with it. And then I got a little sample packet that was for my birthday. My birthday was in the month of March, so that's why a lot of this stuff was bought, because my birthday month is in March. And I get like extra points and a bunch of free rewards and stuff. Ulta is really good about that. And this is the DP Hue ACV Apple Cider Vinegar Hair Rinse. I love hair rinses, hair washes, stuff like, like things like that that are supposed to completely detox your hair. I love them because like I just said, I use a lot of dry shampoo. And these really, really help to just strip all the gunk and stuff off of my hair or off my scalp I struggle with dry scalp too and then adding dry shampoo on top of a dry scalp it leaves a lot of buildup and these really do help and then I got the scalp scrub which I'm so excited it doesn't feel very scrubby though so I'm hoping it's actually gonna do something and then they gave me a little hair mask and then a little ten dollars off a purchase and then I got a little Bare Minerals brush for a free gift with purchase. And then another free gift with purchase is this Wake Up and Make Up hair band. Which, if you guys know, I wear these when I do videos and stuff. And this one will be nice to wear when I do skincare and everything. So I'm probably going to put this in my bathroom upstairs to wear when I put my skincare on and wash my face. And then I got... Oh, goodness, you guys. Let me just pull the rest of this stuff out of this box. I got a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer because I've been wanting to try this. I got mine in Vanilla Light too. And then I bought the another one of the Urban Decay Brow Blades. I got it in Taupe Trap, which is a different shade than what I'm using previously. The shade I've been using previously is Brown Sugar, which is a little too warm for my eyebrows. It's what I currently have on today though. But this, I'm hoping, will be a better shade match. I do love this brow pencil, though. And it was in Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty sale, so it was 50% off. And then I got the Tarte Ultra Creamy Concealer because the Tarte Shade Tape is a little too drying for my dry skin. So I wanted to give this one a try. I also got this NYX. This is Milky Gloss in the shade Milk and Honey. Looks like this. We'll do a swatch. Oh, it just looks stunning. It's like just a very light nude gloss. You're not going to really be able to see it. But I love glosses like this, so I am excited to give that a try. I also bought the Kylie Jenner Skin Concealer in Shell. And then I got a Buxom Full-On Plumping Lip Cream in Hot Toddy. This is my favorite 
plumping lip gloss. This shade is absolutely stunning. I've had two minis of this and I've gone through both of them. And that's saying a lot for me because I hardly ever go through any lip products. So I did buy this to replace my minis that are gone. And then as a little free gift with purchase for my birthday month, I got the Dermalogica Daily Micro Exfoliator. Um, you can mix this with water or a cleanser and it's it exfoliates your skin. Whew, one box down. Two more boxes in a bag to go. Let's move on to the bag. This stuff is a lot from Sephora. I got a lot of Fenty Beauty stuff. This is the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Instant Warmth Bronzer. And I got mine in Inda in, in Sun. The up, it looks like this gorgeous packaging. And then the shade I got, if I can open this without digging my nail into it, is that. Gorgeous, gorgeous shade. I... Just wanted to try a lot from Fenty Beauty because I love everything I've tried so far. So I wanted to buy things that I haven't tried from them yet. And that's why I got that. And then this was on sale at Sephora, so I bought it. I love the Fenty Gloss Bombs. And this is in the shade Pink Dragonfly and Dragonfly and Fenty Glow. And then it came with a little keychain that you could hook to your keys and carry a little mini lipstick or lip gloss with, which I thought was adorable and I definitely will be doing. But I got those. And then let's just pull out a few more things. The next thing I got was a little sample from Sephora and it's the Green Clean Pharmacy uh, Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This is my absolute number one favorite cleansing balm, hands down by far. So if I could get a sample of this, I did. And then I got a little sample of this YSL lipstick. It's just this really, really pretty red shade. I love red lipsticks and I've never tried YSL's formula. I also got this Nude Sticks All Over Face Bronzer, and this is in Beach Babe. Now, the reviews I've heard on these are not very good. It comes with a brush on one side, and then a, like, it's supposed to be a bronzer, but I would use it as a blush. Looks like that, but hopefully it's good and I will like it. Some more Fenty products. This is a Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer in Amber. I'm hoping this is not going to be too dark. I did get it in a very cool tone shade because that is what works best for my skin tone. Ooh, and that's what it looks like. I'm excited to give that a try. And then I got a Bare Minerals Bare Skin Light to Medium Powder. And then I got two samples. This is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. And then I got the Coors Foaming Cream Cleanser. And then we have a, I thought this would be much bigger than it is. Uh, this was $14, you guys. And it's tiny. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Breezy Cream Bronzer. And it is a itty bitty little thing. But it's in such cute packaging. And the color of the packaging is gorgeous. But that's what it looks like. Like I said, I've been wanting to get into cream bronzers. So I did go a little crazy. And then I got this Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, Baby What It Do, Travel Size Makeup Refreshing Spray. I have a lot of setting sprays. I did not need a setting spray, so I bought the mini. That's how I justified it. And then this is the Rare Beauty Nearly Apricot, Apri Ap Apricot if I can talk today, uh, blush. I see she came out with a new formula of blushes. I loved her original formula, so I'm excited to give this one a try. And then we got a... Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. This was a free sample. And then I bought this Pat McGrath Labs, which I've never tried anything from Pat McGrath Labs because they are so pricey. This is the Guilty Pleasure Mini Lip Trio. It comes with three lipsticks. And they're itty bitty, but it's lipstick. I don't go through lipstick very quickly, so I'm excited to give that a try. We have this Tarte. Rainforest of the Sea Hydro Concealer. I got mine in the shade 12N Fair Neutral. Just an itty bitty little sample to give it a try. And then I got another Green Clean Pharmacy uh, Makeup Cleansing Balm because I placed multiple orders from Sephora. And then as my birthday gift from Sephora this year, I got the NARS Laguna uh, little gift set. It's a lipstick and a bronzer. I'm so excited for this. And then I also got this Natasha Denona Bronze and Highlighting Powder. And it just comes with a bronzer and a highlight, which I've never tried their bronzer or their highlight. I've only ever tried a, br a blush and an eyeshadow from Natasha Denona, so I'm excited about this. And then we got some things from Clinique. I got two Clinique a dramatically, or like, dramatically different hydrating things. I got the jelly and the gel because these are my favorite moisturizers and they just work for my skin. And then I bought the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer, 
long wear foundation grip because I wanted to give this a try. We also got another thing from Clinique. This is the Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer and Eraser. And I got mine in the shade CN02 Breeze. Looks like this. I'm excited to give that a try. We got, what is this? This is the, oh, this is the Kaja to all the boys I've loved before little gift set. And it comes with a heart melter, a cheeky stamp, and a moon crystal, which I don't know what any of those are, but the shades look gorgeous. And I'm pretty sure one of them is a blush, if not all of them. Let's open this up though. So we got a little, I think this is a lip pencil. It's a heart melter moisture melt lip gloss stick oh it's in a little heart shape that's cute and so i got that and then we have the kaja moon crystal which is a sparkling eye pigment okay so that's pretty i don't know if i'll get a lot of use out of that but the main reason i got it is for this this is the heart stamp blush and i have seen so many people use this and i wanted to give it a try so it's an actual little heart stamp and you stamp it in the blush and then you just stamp it on your cheek which is adorable and i couldn't resist it and then i got the oh i got two of these actually or did i only get one? Oh, looks like i only got one i thought i got two these are the mac prep and Font prime mac fix plus can't go wrong with the classic mac fix plus it's great for eyeshadow i got two of the fairs toners these are the Witch Hazel Toners. One is with Rose Petal and one is on Scented. These were actually sent to me free for review from Influencer. So I got those. I've never tried the Thayer's Toner, so I'm actually pretty excited for that. I normally use the Mario Badescu one. A few more products in the bag. We got a Milk. Oh, I got the Milk Hydro Grip because I've also been wanting to try this. And then I got the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter uh, Face Powder. I got mine in Lavender. I just got a mini of it. Just because I, I have a lot of makeup, you guys. And if I can get the mini in something, I'm going to. Because I would like to know if I like it before I go and buy a full size. And the last three things in this bag. One is the Melt Liquid Set Lipstick. This was a little free gift with purchase. And it is in the shade Rebound. And then I got a Fenty Beauty. Oh, this I thought would be much larger than it is, too. This is full size. This is not mini. This is the Strawberry Dip uh, Cream Blush from Fenty Beauty. I have been wanting to try her cream blushes for so long. I love cream blushes. It's so tiny though, you guys. Ooh, that is gorgeous. I don't have a bright, bright shade like this in cream blush, so I'm excited for that. And then I got the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation, and I got mine in 120. I am hoping this is going to be light enough for me. I have never tried any Fenty Beauty foundations. This looks like it might be actually a little too light right now, but that's fine because I'm not always this tan, so that is nice. Okay, you guys, we're making some headway. Let's move on to the second box. So I also got my Lashy Box for M March, which I didn't make a video on. So I got the Lashy Box Lashes in Lulu, and then I got the Ruby May Cosmetics. These are magnetic lashes, which is interesting. And then it came with a little magnetic uh, lash glue, which I've never tried any magnetic lashes at all, so I might make a video on those. And then on top of that, you still got your little, little mini sample of lashes. And then they gave you another little pair of lashes. This is by Athena Lash Co. And these are in Celine. And then I got a Lash Box Lash in Palm Spring. We have two more foundations. One is, or they're both from Flower Beauty. One is the Flower Get Real Serum Foundation. And I got mine in the shade Porcelain L1. And then I got the Light Illusion Foundation. And I got this one in the shade Porcelain L1 as well. I bought the Flower Beauty Concealer. I got this one in the shade Porcelain L0. Hopefully they're not the same shade. I also bought this I Heart Revolution Peach and Glow. Now, if you look up here, it's got like a blush and highlight mixed in this one and then a blush on this side. Now, I thought this one was going to be a complete highlight on this side, and it's not. So, I don't know how to feel about that. But the packaging is really, really cute. I also got the Bronze and Glow. And this one's actually a bronzer and a highlighter. Let's open this one up, though, because I do want to see what the bronzer looks like. Okay, that looks pretty decent. Just a nice all-over face bronzer. Let's open up the blush because I want to see what the blush looks like. I'm assuming it's peach and glow, so it's going to be a peachy blush. I mean, that's what I would hope. The packaging is just so pretty, you guys. It's so cute. 
Oh yeah, that's a really pretty blush. I'm not sure how much use I'll get out of this side, but I know for a fact I'll get a lot of use out of that side. And then we got the Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. I've heard amazing things about this, so I wanted to give it a try for myself. I also bought the Physician's Formula Butter Blue Primer. I wanted to compare this to the Elf Putty Primer and the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Hopefully it is comparable. And then I got the Physician's Formula Natural Defense Finishing Powder. So I'm looking for another cheap finishing powder that I can just use all over my face. I also got the Diamond Dust by Physicians Formula, and it is a highlighter. It's in the shade Starlit Glow. And then I got a, oh, I'm so excited for this, you guys. This is a Dewy Blush Elixir by Physicians Formula. And this one is in the shade Peach Gorgeous. And it's like a pump, which I love because I hate, the one thing I hate about cream blushes is a lot of them are very messy. I have one by uh, Florence by Mills. And it's just in like a plastic packaging that you lift the lid up and the lid snaps. So now it's all over the place all the time. So I'm excited that this is in like an actual pump. I also got this Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. I was hoping this was going to be in like a continuous misting sp mister, which it showed online. Like that's what it, it online. That's what the, it showed the packaging was and it's not, but that's okay. I will give it a try. I also got, oh, I got two of these. Where's the other one? Oh, I don't know where the other one is right now. This is the Flower Pots Powder Blush by Flower Beauty. This one is in the shade Warm Hibiscus. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is absolutely stunning. It's like a, it's got like a gold undertone to it with a little bit of shimmer. It is gorgeous. I'm so excited for that. I also got the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator to try in a video. And then I got a Juvia's Place lipstick. This is an In Vogue. I am excited about this. This looks to be a gorgeous uh, nude and, you know, for my skin tone. It looks absolutely stunning. Okay, well, it's a little darker than I anticipated, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited to wear this. So I got two eyeshadow palettes. One, they're both by Revolution. One is the Revolution uh, shadow palette. What's it? What does it say? Forever Fla Flawless is, I think, what it is. And those are the shades down there. Very nice, warm-toned eyeshadow palette. And then I got one that is in... Oh, no, they're both in Forever Flawless. Oh, this one's in Fire, that's why. And then this one's in Bird of Paradise, which looks like this. This reminds me a lot of my Makeup Revolution Trisha Bright's eyeshadow palette. So I'm excited to use this. And I love the Makeup Revolution eyeshadow formula. So I'm so excited for that. I also got the Flower Beauty Setting Spray. This is the Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray. And then I got another foundation. This is by a brand I've never heard of, though. This is a, I think it's a tinted moisturizer. Yeah, it's a glow tint light coverage. It's by Undone Beauty, and it's the Unfoundation Glow Tint. I've never heard of this brand. If you guys have tried this, let me know. But this was a very new brand to me, so I'm excited to give this a try. And then I got some more of my zip patches by Truly. I use these all the time. They are amazing and they work wonders. I also got the Wet n Wild makeup sponge because it was like $2 and I can never have enough sponges. I also bought the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Setting Powder. I got mine in the shade Translucent. It's huge. And if this works like my Cody Airspun Powder, I will be amazed. And especially because the Cody Airspun Powder has a strong scent to it, which it doesn't always bother me, but it would be nice to find one without the scent. So if this works as well as my Cody Airspun and doesn't have that scent, I will be pleased. I got a concealer. I got the Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer. And I got mine in the shade Fair. Got a couple eyeliners by LA Colors, or LA Girl, excuse me. I got three. Two are the Shockwave Neon Eyeliners. I got one in the shade Gotcha and Fresh. So green and a teal. And this one's in a Pastel Dream, and it's in Lavender. And I have been loving putting colored eyeliner on my lower lash line. I also got a Winky Wax blush. Now, you guys cannot tell me this is not the cutest packaging ever. This is adorable. It's the Cheeky Rose Blush in the shade Crown. And it is a cream blush. And honestly, this packaging is gorgeous. It's maybe a little hard to store, but look at it, you guys. It reminded me of Beauty and the Beast with, like, the rose. It's gorgeous, and it's so cute. Oh, my goodness. And then... This would not be a Jasmine haul if there was not dry shampoo in this haul. And as you guys know, every year Ulta does their spring sale. And their dry shampoo is always on sale. So I got one Batiste. 
uh, dry shampoo and this is pink pineapple. I have not tried Batiste dry shampoo in a hot minute. So I got some of those and then I stocked up on my favorite dry shampoo. It's the Hask one and this is the Biotin Boost one and it's the thickening dry shampoo. I also got the purifying dry shampoo and I got the volumizing dry shampoo. The volumizing and the thickening one are really good if you guys do buns. It just gives your hair that volume that it needs to, you know, make your bun look Already, voluminous. you guys, we're on to the last box. I'm trying to move through these quickly. That's why I'm not doing a lot of swatches, just because I don't want this video to be 20 million years long, because there's a lot of stuff. Let's move on to the last box. So I got a little free gift with purchase. I am going to go over this now, but this was like a spend 70, get this little thing for free. And it came with this cute little makeup bag, which would be a great bag to take to the beach and put, you know, like your phone and wallet and stuff in. And then inside of it, it came with the, uh, I've never heard of this brand, Strivectin Tighten and Lift Peptide, Peptide, Peptide Tightening and Brightening Face Serum. And then a lot of foil packets, like always, that come with these little free gift with purchases. This one I'm actually excited for, though. This is the Nap Mineral Basalt. I got this Yes to a Detoxifying Charcoal Peel-Off Mask. I also got these Tan Lux, the Face Illuminating self Tanner Drops, which they've been putting these in a lot of things lately, so I wonder if they're actually good. If you guys have used anything like this, let me know. And then a couple perfume samples. This is the La Via Est Belle Lancome Perfume. And then this one is the John Barbados. I don't, I honestly don't know you guys. I'm not a big perfume person, so I don't know. I probably butchered all of those. This is the Cover FX Face Primer. This is the mattifying one though, but it also says it has acne treatment in it. So I might try it just for the acne treatment. We also got a Murad Intense Recovery Cream. We have a Bare Face Exfoliating Enzyme Jelly Cleanser. We have a Peach and Lily Toner, or no, this is the Glass Skin Refining Serum. And then we have a little Redken Shampoo and Conditioner Set. It's for dry, brittle hair. And then we have the Living Proof Curl Definer. And it's the, it's a conditioner. We also got the Belief, the True uh, Aqua Balm. And then a Diva Curl High Shine Multi Benefit Oil. And then a Brio Geo Be Gentle, Be Kind Avocado Kiwi Superfood Mask for your hair. And then a little sample of the Quench uh, Beauty Bio Moisturizer. And then a Smashbox Super Fan Mascara. And a Clinique Dramatically Different High Impact Mascara. And a little CoverGirl Lid Paint in Awakening. And we also got a Shiseido Broad Spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen for face and body. And a little thing of Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm Pore Clarifying Cleanser. And that's all we got in this little bag. And then I also got this cute little headband. I think this came in a subscription box of some sort. I don't remember, you guys. I also got this cute little uh, makeup sponge and holder. It looks like a little bunny. It's adorable. And then I got this Kai lighter. I have, I bought one of I'm these. I'm pretty sure the it. other one I have this is, is what Ice Me Out looks like. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. And then I got another dry shampoo. This one is in just the regular one. They, and then I got two of the Tree Hot Shea Sugar Scrubs. I love these things. This one is in watermelon scent. And let me tell you, it smells like heaven. It is amazing and I love it. I may have already opened it and smelt it. And then the other one I got is Tahitian Vanilla Bean, which is just a very classic Shea Sugar Scrub scent. I also got two Flower Bomb uh, blushes by Flower Beauty. These are cream blushes. I got one in the shade Nectar and one in the shade Cinnamon. And then I got a J-Cat Blush Mellow. It's like a cream blush, but it feels really weird to the touch. It is amazing. This is in the shade Ali Peach. It looks like this. Gorgeous. It's really weird to the touch. I also got a blush by Kylie Cosmetics, and this is close to perfect. Which looks like that gorgeous gorgeous shade i didn't realize i got another flower bomb oops this is in pinched and i got a makeup revolution watermelon setting spray 
I oh these are the other two uh flower beauty flower pop blushes I got this one is in the shade sweet pea and this one is peach primrose I got another one of the winky Lux uh flower what are these cheeky rose blush cream blush and dodgy because they were adorable and I couldn't resist them. I got another one of the Blush Mellow by J Cat Beauty. This one is in the shade Cherry Limeade, which is a bright shade. I don't have very many bright blushes like this, so I did get that one. And then I got a Elf Putty Blush in, what shade did I get this in? Turks in, I don't know how to pronounce that. That's what it looks like though, gorgeous. And I wanted to give it a try. I've never tried the putty blushes. I also got this Mina Pro Palette by Beauty Creations. Looks like this. And you open it up and it's these very fun bright purple shades. I'm trying not to blind you guys. That came in, I think, my lashy box with my lashes. I only a few more things left. I got another uh, Pastel Dream Eyeliner. This is in Powder Blue. I got a BH Cosmetics uh, Glowing in Grease Blush and Highlight Palette. Looks like this. Gorgeous. I have never tried BH Cosmetics Blush and Highlights, if I'm not mistaken. And then I got a ColourPop Luxe Lip Oil in First Date, which looks like that. We'll open it up real quick. Looks like this, and then let's do a swatch. Ooh, doesn't have a smell, which is nice. And then it's just a nice peachy lip oil and i like lip oils because they're more hydrating than anything else and we got a i Heart revolution coffee break bronzer which just intrigued me and i am obsessed with coffee and it just called my name let's see if i can get this open Ooh, that packaging is gorgeous Alrighty, so that's what it looks like i love this color Looks pretty nice. We'll have to give it a try. And I got two more of the Buxom. Oh, these are different. These are the Va Va Plump Shiny Liquid Lipsticks. I got one in the shade Taupe It Off and one in Homey and Honey Dew. So Taupe It Off is going to probably be a taupe. I mean, if it's in the name, it's going to probably be a taupe. Let's swatch it. Oh yeah, that's definitely a taupe shade, which I love my taupes and my mauves. And then this one is in Honey Dew, which if you can't tell, I'm obsessed with like honey, peachy, taupey shades. Ooh, these smell nice. Ooh, that is really, really pretty. I am excited for these. I love the Buxom Plumping Formula, so I'm excited to have ones with a little more color in them. And then the very last items I got are all the same things, just in different shades. These are the e.l.f. Bite Size Face Duos. I got one in the shade Guava, and I got one in the shade Spiced Apple, and I got White Peach, and the last one is Watermelon. Oh my goodness, you guys. That's everything. That is this long, insane, crazy, crazy haul. Let me know what you guys think down below. I love to hear your thoughts and opinions. If you guys have used any of these products, let me know. I love to hear your thoughts and opinions. If you want to see any of these in a video, let me know down below as well. But that is all. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope you enjoyed. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.